Ladies and gentlemen, it's player profile time. We've reached it. Thank goodness. <laughs> We're near the end. Yeah. <laughs> We've reached around it. It's a, it's a, bit, oh, it's a big Peter. player profile shaped light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> <It is. laughs> Not the player's tunnel. Good, like that. Yeah, thanks. Sort of football theme. Bit of juxtaposition there. there. Um, oh. Paolo Cesare Maldini. <laughs> Come on. Woo! Paolo, Paolo, Get Paolo. him in. Get him in. But before we put him Am in... Am I alone in yes, quite you wanting to have sex with yeah. Paolo Maldini? I'm... He's, he's, he's if, a handsome if, if you're not a gorgeous man. Italian footballer, yeah. that's who you'd think in your head. Can I, can I go one beyond that and say, not just a, a footballer, an elder statesman of the game, an ambassador of the sport that transcends the genre? <laughs> The genre. Would, be, would be my take. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if it was a genre. Yeah, so you could, you're arguing that he could represent football at basketball. Yeah. By your own logic. <laughs> Are you going against that? Yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> um, well, I'll back you up on that, that elder statesman point of view. Um, born June the 26th, 1968. Started with a win. Won the sperm race. Yeah, he did. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. Winner straight away. 19... He's 41 this 1968, year. 1968, a year... Before the summer of love, <laughs> yeah. and I don't—he think... ushered it in I like, okay, yeah. with those chiselled looks. Yeah. I don't think that's a coincidence. No, that, I... that if you looked over to the left side of what was all happening, he was galloping up that left side. <laughs> so it's, there's no, there's no coincidence. Absolutely none. No, of I agree with you, Marcus. I Absolutely, know, I thought you would. Yeah, um, I'm right behind you. Do you know why? Because you've got a brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he made his league debut in 1985. He's the only player. I was I actually going to say, as soon as you said it was him, he's the only player I, I think who is still playing that was around when I first started loving football. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Um, and his whole career has been at Milan. That's it's, magnificent. He's like just the ultimate one club man. It's brilliant. Yeah. Mm. Ryan Giggs might not be happy with that. I love him. <laughs> I love him. And I love him more than I love Ryan Giggs. 632 appearances. For Milan, twenty. That's that because that's got to be league appearances. He must have made more than that in total. Yeah, no, because that doesn't yeah, seem that no, much. Sorry. Oh, forgive me. League yeah. appearances, and that was nineteen eighty four. Was when he obviously eighty five was when he uh, started. Started, yeah. But that was his debut was in January, so he was there since nineteen eighty four. And his youth, he was he brought up through the whole youth system. Yeah. Uh, well, his uh, dad was a Milan. obviously a legend as well. Wasn't yeah, he? That, that's absolutely right. Mm. That was a, it was a well respected coach mm. as well. Well, he played. Um, he on uh, February sixteenth in two thousand and eight he reached one thousand senior games. Um, that was with Milan and Italy. <coughs> That's fantastic. That is isn't unbelievable, it? isn't it? Cracking. The only one, the only, the, the only person I think has played a thousand senior games who I can think to mind is Peter Shilton. But you've got Mario. To, well, no, that was goals. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, and he got them all in like a couple of games or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but Peter Shilton, but Peter Shilton's obviously a keeper, and Peter Shilton played at a lot of different levels. You know, yeah. this is at the top level. Peter Shilton, I think, was still playing at some level. They're like forty-eight or something. Exactly, exactly. I mean, he's a goalkeeper, though, isn't he? It's just absolutely. Well, less you, on you, you're factually correct, there, James. Yeah. No, you absolutely are. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so he played. <coughs> oh, hello! I was getting oh. a bit excited. I'm overcome with respect. <laughs> <laughs> he played 126 times for Italy, and that is, and he holds the record for caps for the Italian <coughs> national team. It was well, would you calm down? <laughs> Um, can, you, can I just say a thousand senior games, right? For, for Italy for, and Milan. Yeah, oh. that's, that's forty games a year, every year for twenty-five years. Yeah. yeah. What's your point? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doubting the man. I'm just saying <laughs> it's an absolutely wonderful achievement. It is a wonderful achievement. Has um, he never been injured? He must have had a couple. He, of, no, yeah. he had a little bit of. Um, He's above injury, isn't he? he had a, <laughs> like, one, I think only one season was was significant injury. It was a little bit of knee trouble. Oh. But apart from that, no. He um, done for himself. Mm. Exactly. Um, Viagra. Mm. And he was in that great <laughs> side, um, late 80s, early 90s, which we've mentioned before. Yeah. Which, of course, Franco Baresi was involved with as yeah, well. Yeah, who's also a fellow inductee into the Hall of Fame. Well, exactly. He'll slot I, in alongside him, I'd like I'd to imagine. Think, I'd like to think that um, Franco Baresi will be there at the gate, ready to welcome him in. <laughs> That's right. Paolo, yeah. welcome. He'll be, he'll be defending... Bongiorno. <laughs> he'll be keeping everybody else out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll bring in Paolo. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's, that's, that's a lovely little image in my head there. So, but um, obviously Maldini, left-back, but he could play centre-back. Yeah, yeah, But, yeah. but left-back is... is, is where he could happiest. probably go on another two or three years at centre a half, I would imagine. Yeah. <sighs> well, 40, I don't know. He's two or three years, maybe. Right, let's just leave season. it there. Let's just leave it there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, in 1994, 
He became the first defender ever to win World Soccer Manager yeah, absolutely. Uh, Player of the Year, which yeah. is uh, in, un- incredible. But defenders it? never win it. Yeah. It's like when Paul McGrath won um, Player of the Year in the Premier League. Uh, pr- defenders never win it. Yeah. Well, he, he singled out um, Franco Baresi and said that he deserved to have won this award, you know, in his career, which he, uh, Baresi probably should have done, but he never. Mm. So Maldini, um, obviously, Baresi was a real mentor to him. Yeah, I, I can and, imagine. Absolutely. And he, um, talking about his appearances, Dino Zoff's Serie A appearance record of um, 571 league matches. Maldini broke that in 2005. And once again, you know, that's a goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. You know, so... When you hear of all these records um, where it's like most consecutive appearances, most it, it generally does tend to be goalkeepers yeah. and Gary Speed, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can't underestimate that sort of achievement. Absolutely. He's um, played in eight Champions League finals. <laughs> which is more than any other player. This is yeah. amazing, isn't it? Of course. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Christ. And, he's, and, and he even this is this is a, again it says a lovely little statistic. Uh, he scored the fastest ever goal in the Champions League final, yeah, fifty-one seconds against after Liverpool. against Liverpool. Has he scored in he's, any other of those finals? Because he, he did like yeah. a goal, didn't he? Yeah, he, right he, he loves oh, it. He loves a goal. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a bastard for a goal. <laughs> he's a bastard for a goal. He, 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 <laughs> did play, he did play a lot of games. So whatever he scored is going to be a shit ratio. <laughs> 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 yeah, simply because he's played a thousand games. Could I ask a more broad question about him? Yeah. Is there anything? Right anything he's done in his life which isn't factually perfect <laughs> <laughs> yeah we weren't English was he <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I love all this they love this in Italy uh, Milan planned to retire his number three shirt when he's uh, when he quits. Well, isn't the talk of his son taking it on? Well, his have son... you seen that video of his son, who was probably about five at the time, tackling Clarence Sadoff? Sadoff yeah. It's the end, some sort of end of season celebration, and the kids are all like the players' kids are all messing yeah. about on the pitch. And Sadoff's got the ball, and he just launches into this really? perfectly timed yeah. tackle and takes it off him. That's and yeah. Sadoff can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah it's, it's almost too perfect. His son yeah. Christian, I'll um, put it on the MySpace. His yeah, son, go on, do that. His yeah. son Christian currently plays for the Milan youth squad. Yeah. Is, so, is he a left back? He is. Oh, he should be. Yeah. If he isn't. If he's not, he's dead to the family. <laughs> it's a bit Simple as that. Well, that's, mate, don't muck around, do you? Um, and, uh, but of course, um, Cesare. Do you think like Paolo Maldini ever goes to like parties and people go to him, oh, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I'm a footballer. And they go, what position? And he goes, oh, I'm left back. And they go, yeah, left back in the changing room. <laughs> I'm Paolo Maldini. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not Fuck for over off. a thousand games, pal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I love the idea of him it, for any reason saying, I'm Paolo Maldini. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the idea of, of nobody knowing who he is. Yeah. It's a silly suggestion. <laughs> um, in, uh, in 86, uh, was his father was in charge, Cesare Maldini was in charge of the Italian under-21 side and was, was called up. And you talk about his um, goal-scoring record. Well, he had 12 caps for the under-21s and scored five goals in two years. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, under that's not bad at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad at all. So, um, and unfortunately, um, the only thing that is a real shame about um, Maldini's career is after... I don't it, want to hear it. Uh, well, you're going <laughs> to. And okay. it's inevitable, because after eliminate after Italy were eliminated from the 2002 World Cup from South Korea, because they would not learn, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Maldini retired from uh, the international competition and thus missed out on 2006. Oh, yeah. That would have capped it off. He it? missed out on 2006. That and is it, a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but if it, anyone it, deserves a World Cup winner's medal... But it makes it all the more me. sickening. It's me. <laughs> Well, Maldini and I would argue that, but um, <laughs> the, it makes it even worse when you you hear about his um, national team. 1990 World Cup, third place. Um, 1994 World, World Cup, Cup, second place. Runner-up. Yeah. Uh, Euro 88, third place. Euro 2000, runner-up. Yeah. Mm. You know, if any man deserved oh. a, med- a, yeah. a gold medal at uh, international level... I think the only thing that could probably make up for that is um, an induction into the Dean Winners Hall of Fame. Well, <laughs> and, yeah. and we're going to get there. <laughs> um, but uh, He's on the cusp. He won um, seven Serie A titles, um, Italian Cups, uh, Champions Leagues, we talked about. In uh, February, this month, this month, Italian coach Marcello Lippi um, has said that because Maldini said, "I'd love to play for the Italian national side one more time yeah. before I retire." And Lippi said, "Yeah, I think we can. I think we we're going to raise that. I think we sort that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, how, how was the World Cup final in 2010? Sweet, yeah. <laughs> 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 up front. Oh, that would be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be magnificent, wouldn't it? And, yeah. uh, but he's not going to go into um, the club's coaching hierarchy, as of many of his 
old teammates have done. He says he wants to do other things in his life. And uh, th- get this, there's a Paolo Maldini football school for children in Senegal. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Which I fancy a little field trip to. Yeah, th- um, don't we all? Yeah. And uh, he's got a clothing line with uh, Christian Vieri. Oh, nice. So, a couple of samples, maybe. And, uh, <laughs> and of course, he's got a modelling contract with H&M. Oh, of course he has. Yeah, absolutely. He's yeah. probably born with that. He can yeah. model my contract <laughs> any time. See what you've done there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going I'm to finish. <laughs> I'm going to finish with a cro- quote from Ray Wilkins. <laughs> Ex teammate. Yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah. See? I like, it, I like a bit of Butch. He's one of my favourite pundits, so please continue. <laughs> you could have, This is Ray Wilkins. You could have stuck him in any position. As soon as I saw him, I thought, my God, this boy's got everything. He was 16 years old, six foot one, tall, quick, and strong with two good feet. And he was in love with football, which you can still see today. He's also stayed the same thoroughly decent bloke, a gentleman, as well as an outstanding player. Paolo Maldini, come on in. Yeah. Come on in and stay in. One thing I will say, when you come into the Dean Windows Hall of Fame, I will greet you with a kiss, sir. <laughs> <laughs> On any part of the body you re- desire, apart from bottom. <laughs> Why not bottom? Just leave it there. Fine.